matter if your child is neurotypical or not, parenting is no small task. One local organization is looking to bring more awareness to the need for resources for the autism spectrum disorder community. Steph Manchin spoke with one mother who has seen success through the program. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, about 1 in 44 children in the U.S. are diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. In northwest Missouri, the amount of resources are limited to help support the families of those children, looking to give them the most neurotypical life that they can. One woman set out to fill the gap by starting her own program in St. Joseph through the center in August of 2022. I wanted to offer that because I know that there's, there's such a need everywhere but especially in northwest missouri and a lot of a lot of families just need help through the program mcgee is able to assess children and then dr jura also with the center is able to diagnose it's after that diagnosis though that mcgee is able to really get to work all the families that have come in have been very grateful for anything i've provided for them um i've needed help for so long didn't know where to go or um we've struggled at home and now we've we have help and we have someone to go to and uh, you know I'm a phone call away from my clients. Jill Smith picked up the phone to get into the program as soon as she heard it opened. She has two little girls with autism and when looking for help or educational resources around St. Joseph she came up short. Kara helped me find different resources and gave me a lot of ideas on things we could do. Um, she told me about some apps we could try for Adina and Anaya um, and just different techniques to work with. And if I had questions, she was very knowledgeable and helped me brainstorm and think of different ways that we could uh, work together. Through this new autism program, Smith hopes to normalize more conversations about autism as well as other disorders throughout the St. Joseph area. As a community, we need to be more uh, inclusive and tolerant of other people. And this is a way to start getting the word out and that autism is okay. And like I said, it's they're different, but not less. And that is what I always tell my daughters. Smith said the earlier the intervention, the better off children will be in the future. So if you suspect your child may have some form of autism spectrum disorder and you're looking for a local resource. Give us a call. Simple as that. Yeah, give us a call. Steph Manchin, News Press Now.